Um, I'm going to throw this one up there for educational purposes. So can you please explain the difference between coccidia and worms? So worms is it like intestinal parasites, right? You can actually also get lung worms which reside where they say they reside in your lungs and it'll your animal will start coughing this is goat related i don't know really worms much about worms when it comes to like dogs cats horses whatever but yeah there's lung worm which i don't think we've ever had an issue with here and then there's the big ones like your barber poles your trick strong gels your humongous your those tapeworms and those ones are all intestinal parasites and many of them will attach themselves to the intestinal wall and then they will their blood sucking that's think of it like a leech microscopic super super tiny times hundreds of thousands to millions exactly so one little microscopic parasitic worm is not going to hurt your goat but when you have thousands hundreds of thousands of them all sucking the blood and nutrients out of your goat that's how you get a goat that is anemic and then a goat that's anemic can't supply blood throughout their bodies because red blood cells are what carries your oxygen to all of your vital organs and you know what you need for brain function and all of that so those worms are really serious like i said a few aren't gonna hurt which is why we fecal test because if you know the goats are gonna have say a couple hundred of these that's fine um, but once they start hitting maybe a thousand to two thousand is when we're like all right well how does the goat look and you know do, how do her eyelids look and then based on that we'll try. coccidia is like the single celled organism that will it wreaks havoc on your intestinal tract as well so coccidia is one of those things where it'll pretty much just chew the intestinal intestinal tract away which makes it really hard for an animal to absorb any of their nutri- nutrients and can actually cause scarring of the small and large intestine so that that animal even if it recovers could have growing issues one of the issues we had with winnie when she was so sick was okay so she lived but is she gonna grow and that's why we were paying so much attention to her weight after she came home from tough because we had controlled the population of worms and coccidia in her but we weren't sure if the damage to her intestines were was so bad that if she would ever absorb nutri- nutrients again which is also going to be a light running issue both more so coccidia but coccidia and worms will both target the young um coccidia it's the same organism that affects chickens and dogs kittens um they they, you know it's just an opportunistic organism that will feed off of an immature immune system so but yeah that i mean i guess that's that that was good that was so good i'm going to clip that out and use that in another video god i hope i got it all right that's what i just emailed (laughs) myself i said clip this section out at minute 34 5 or whatever make it a short or whatever so i don't know if you said it because i was trying to be real quiet and i did pretty good for those of you that know me did really good When you're treating with worms, we use uh, dewormers that unlike in dogs, we don't deworm on a regular basis in goats because they will become parasite resistant. Then the other issue you have. So, yeah, they'll be dewormer resistant. They'll be dewormer resistant. They'll be resistant to the medication. And also we have multiple different types of dewormers and not, there's not just one dewormer that will kill all classes of worms there's multiple classes of worms and you know your white dewormers only only do your they're like stage one stage two stage yeah it's, three. A, it's great when winnie was super sick i was knee deep in the rabbit hole on youtube mm-hmm. of learning dewormers and i was watching some guy from like uh, um england talking about sheep And he was like really science, like super science, like molecular level, like everything and talking about how these little micro bugs climb up the blades of grass, but they can only climb up like two, three inches. That's why you want to keep your grass at like four or five inches tall, which is the whole reason we redid our field and got the goats on bigger, longer grass and things like that. But it and it got real scientific about the life cycle of the worms. And some of our goats, when they have to be dewormed, we're giving them medication for 12 days because the life cycle of the worm is 12 days. So you have to hit them every day. Well, for, or you're hitting them on day one and, and then, then two day, weeks later you hit them again. Right. So they're a all lot different. Of, there's a, there's there, a lot. There's yeah. a lot to it. But the downside is, and in any 
biological scientific concept like this, we're trying to kill the parasite, but not the host. So you have this leech like organism sucking blood from inside their body and you kill all the leeches at once and they all let go while the inside now they're internally bleeding and did you do that at a rate that was too fast for them to handle and now the goat dies so there's this huge safety balance between well then you have the die off and then so the now you have all these you know hundreds of thousands of worms that you just killed off they're dying inside of the intestinal tract and admitting this toxic level of and so that in itself can also have be an issue and in a and i we've never had it but in really rare cases you kill off all of those worms and now there's such a population of in their colons and in there that it creates a blockage yeah. we've never had it before but yeah you get this die off of worms that creates like this ball of Right. matter that can't pass yeah. so note to everybody out there watching the short clip now um never deworm your animal without your vet supervision there you go yeah. that was my disclaimer because we are not a vet no there you go well and there's just so much yeah there's so much you have to figure out before you could just throw dewormer down them well you have to think about it dewormer is first and foremost a poison yeah and so like you said you have to use it you know a lot of times you're kind of stuck you're like this animal is so weak and so sick but we know you she needs the dewormer but is she so sick and she's so weak that the dewormer in itself is going to kill her right and so there's this fine balance and it's yeah, yeah it can it can be heartbreaking that's why we were so worried with winnie because 